Good evening. This is Rahul Magan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Trishy Consulting. Today, in five to seven minutes, I would be sharing my thoughts that how, you know, in a market, the things are being manipulated or the things are being hyped. Guys, we need to understand one thing that India is definitely a country whereby, you know, a lot of manipulation is going on. There is hardly any doubt about that. The beautiful thing of the life is that majority of the people do not have the knowledge to see whether this manipulation is exactly going on or it is not going on. Now, you really need to understand that when you are buying any stock. You are supposed to buy the stock based on the balance sheet. That's a very important thing. Because at the end of the day, what really matters is the balance sheet. The hypes, the phobias, and each and everything will go away. Now, if I strictly speak about India, then unfortunately, one thing which is definitely happening is the debt. There are many Indian corporates, without quoting any specific name, where the debt has risen substantially. Rather, substantial is relatively a respectful word for them. And unfortunately, almost every day, one or more Indian corporate news are coming up in the public. Like, I can give you the name, but I'm not giving any specific name. Today, I was reading one article in which one of the chairmen of one metal-based company said that, you know, this XYZ amount is a very small for us. And when I look at the total debt, in the books of that organization, I was like, what the hell? How can you have that level of debt? Guys, please understand that the world is heading towards depression. You agree with this? You do not agree with this? That is definitely your personal call. But we are heading towards depression. More than depression, we are heading towards a geological disorder. You heard me very right, which is known as geological disorder. Almost every day, 15 to 20 minutes, I spare on the internet to check the water crisis across the globe. And in the last one month, you can say I spared a very good quantity of time in understanding the water or the probable water crisis in Europe and United States. As we speak, we are around 8th March 2023, which means the summers across the globe are yet to start. You know, and if you please check on the Google yourself, you will get to know that Europe is facing a deep water crisis even in the first week of the March. Specifically speaking, the Italy and the various other nations in Europe are facing the water crisis. You can yourself get this information in the public. The glaciers are melting due to the rising temperatures across the globe and this melting is continuously going on and we all are sleeping. To conclude, a huge geological disorder is on the cards. Huge geological disorder is on the cards. But unfortunately, the humanity is outrightly ignoring that geological disorder because we are busy in few unwarranted things where we should not be devoting even a single minute of the time. More importantly, the central banks across the globe will continue to hike the rate. Federal Reserve made it very clear that they would continue to hike the rate and they might be hiking more what they did in the last year. 
we already knew that amazon facebook google microsoft intel and many top american technological giants they cut thousands of jobs and if federal reserve would continue to hike the rate in this eventuality this would trigger a huge pressure on the asian central bank also to hike the rates common sense you have to match the federal reserve because if you are not matching the federal reserve in this eventuality what would happen that your currency will depreciate beyond reasonable level so example today federal reserve hiked by 50 basis point in march assuming and reserve bank of india do not hike the rate in comparison with the federal reserve then the common sense is the pressure would mount on the indian rupee common sense because the interest rate of the us is greater than the interest rate of india this is pure fundamental equation no politics no you know x party y party something like this this is pure fundamental financial equation and we cannot run away from this equation this equation would be valid even none of us would be alive and this equation was valid when none of us was even born in the financial market hence for by the time the federal reserve would continue to hike the interest rate the regional central banks like monetary authority of singapore reserve bank of india and everyone they would continue with hiking the rates in this eventuality it would trigger a massive a massive mess for the regional economies we all know that in india also the job cuts are going on now the beautiful thing is that media is not covering them and unfortunately media will not cover them also because media have their own priorities and they are busy in their priorities to conclude the discussion i personally see that going forward would be very very volatile probably more volatile what we had in last year by the way i already warned people on 31st december 2022 that 2023 would be a very volatile year to come now federal reserve made it very clear that they would be hiking the rate it means the regional central banks of philippines india thailand dubai hong kong singapore malaysia they have to hike the rate they left with no other option because you have to match else your currency would depreciate beyond expectation level russia ukraine war is going on and highly unfortunate that there is no end to russia ukraine war rest time would be telling this is rahul bagan from trishi consulting group you knew my personal number 9899 2429789899242978 please do understand i repeat do understand that the volatility level in the upcoming times would grow it won't fall the people who are fundamentally strong the people who are knowledge based people the people those who disregard the fake news which is very much prevalent in the public they will survive rest you will hear me out as the time would come thank you ladies and gentlemen and uh, have a great time ahead